Hi, this is James from Square Internet with another WooCommerce tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at the reports section in WooCommerce and how you can check out some of the free reporting functionality built into WooCommerce so you can check on your online store's performance. This development domain is using the free storefront theme that you can get for free from the WooCommerce website. I'd recommend you use a premium theme that's compatible with WooCommerce if you're serious about selling online, but I just set this up because it's simple, free, and easy to set up for these tutorials. I've imported the demo data that comes with the storefront theme, so I've just been playing around with some demo data and some basic test transactions, just so we've got some data to look at in the reporting section here. But let's dive in anyway. So. First of all, make sure you're logged into your WordPress website. And then to access the reporting section of WooCommerce, you need to come over here to the side menu and scroll down the submenu to reports. So what I'm looking at now is a report of the last seven days activity on my WooCommerce store. So I can see there's been £58.50 of gross sales, all of those processed today. <laughs> Uh, average gross daily sales would work out at £8.36 over the past seven days. And it's giving me a few other metrics that are quite useful. So my net sales, number of orders placed, items purchased. I can see how many refunds, how much I've charged for shipping, and how many coupons I've used. It's quite cool as well. If you look at the graph, um, it will actually highlight these particular things as you scroll up and down them and you can uh, see them being displayed there. I'll just go through a few of the other key sections here. So customers, you can see how many customers signed up in this period, how many of them were customer sales, how much of this period was guest sales. If I come back to orders, I can see sales by product. My top sellers were the beanie hat and the hoodie with logo. If I had freebies configured, I'd be able to see which were the top freebies and which were the top earners. I can also drill down and see sales by category. Because <coughs> I don't have categories configured right now, it's not showing them. But if you have categories configured on your website, you'll be able to see which of your shop categories has been the most successful. I can also see coupons by date, so I can see how many coupons have been used and which coupon has been the most popular, which is really useful for you to drill down into are your coupons actually working, and if so, which coupons do you need to promote further, or perhaps which you need to look at retiring or improving. In terms of the timeline, you can go beyond the last seven days, so you can get this month a 30-day uh, overview. can also view last month's so I've only configured this today so there were no sales for last month but you can compare compare this period to the last period and you can also view a year's overview of the performance of your WooCommerce store all of this data is really super useful when measuring the performance of your store and if you combine this data with the data you'll be able to get from Google Analytics, Enhanced E-Commerce Analytics, you'll have a really, really strong understanding of how your store is performing across the board, covering the products, the categories, coupons, and the Google Analytics. If you have uh, Enhanced E-Commerce Analytics set up, you'll be able to connect the dots and determine uh, where your sales are coming from, so which channels are driving which sales. You'll be able to drill down into some info about uh, best performing products by channel, how long people are staying on the website, where are they dropping off, what your conversion rate is, uh, what your bounce rate is. And the two combined will give you a really, really strong understanding of how your store is performing and how you can further grow your store in the future. Hopefully you found this video useful. If the report section is not something you're familiar with or have checked out, make sure that you get familiar with it. And if you're not using enhanced e-commerce analytics for your WooCommerce store. Do make sure you set that up so that you can connect the dots and understand where your sales are coming from as well as 
how your sales are being distributed across the store. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found this video useful and make sure you subscribe for future videos. I'm going to be doing a ton more WordPress and WooCommerce tutorials in the future. And if you'd like to see anything specific covered or if you have any kind of problem areas or areas you need help, I'm happy to take a look at them for you and record a video for you if I can. Thanks very much. Cheers.